Welcome back to Houston Life. A brand new season of Good Taste with Tangi starts this weekend. It airs at 10.30 a.m. right here on KPRC2. All right, so if you haven't seen this show, every single week, Tangi takes viewers on a culinary journey, and she's bringing back a dish from one of her first spots today from season one of her show, The Republic Grill in the Woodlands. Tangi, cheers to 15 cheers. years. Can you believe? Congratulations. You. Can you, you believe? Hey, I mean, this is a lot of I'll work. I'll grab a glass for that. To you, to you. Yes. Cheers to you. So incredible. Thank you. It tells the story okay. about Republic. Okay, Republic Grill was featured in our very first season. Of course, it's out at the Woodlands, and they have won a number of awards. For the second year in a row, they have won TripAdvisor's top uh, top 10 best eats in the country. Oh my gosh. So a lot of awards. One of them, that's their gumbo. Their I gumbo. still to this day remember their gumbo. Wow. It's, it was so good and it still is today. But the chicken fried steak also won one of the top 10. Oh my gosh. And it is, it's fantastic. They put a lot of love and care into it. It's Wagyu beef and it's delicious. But oh, so I many love other it. things. They they do a Woodlands uh, chicken that's got this goat cheese and a really decadent oh, basil yeah. butter sauce and a gluten-free strawberry shortcake. That should be your birthday week celebration part two. There Twist my go. arm. <laughs> Twist my arm, Tangie. Wow, yeah, this isn't is it so, beautiful? So you do, you know all the delicious foods, and we so appreciate the Republic Grill for bringing in this deliciousness, um, but you also are talking wine a lot, and that's kind of what yes. we're, we're doing today. Yes, so we thought it would be fun. If you watch our show, you know one of the most popular, if not the most popular segment on there truly is the Wine Finds, the wine right? Finds. Wine Finds. H-E-B's yeah. been a wonderful sponsor in that they let me walk into that store, choose any wine I want to taste, and any wine I want to feature. Wow. So you know if you see it on our show, I've tasted it, Chances are I have one, a bottle of it at my house that or I bought. Case. But it's it's all, or a case, yeah, I'll, <laughs> you know. I'll admit to that. <laughs> but they're, they're, they're vetted is what I'd like to say about that. So yes. uh, we look for value, and a lot of times the best value wines are surprising, right? Right now, if you watch this new season, which is about to start, I'm finding a lot of great values in South America. Chilean wines, um, Argentinian wines. Uh, California, great wines, but very, very expensive. If you yeah. had a Napa cab lately. Right, yes. Right. And uh -huh. let's face it, it's very easy to get a really delicious $50 or $100 bottle of wine. Okay, so we're quizzing. We're, we're not we're, doing that. We're starting with the quiz, all under yes. $20. I love that concept just from the get-go. Yes. So. so we're going to start with the Sauvignon Blanc varietal. Okay, and that's what we're drinking yes. now. Yes, different okay. regions around the world make it. So New okay. Zealand Sauvignon Blancs are zesty, citrusy, lots of grapefruit. You might get a little bit of tropics. Okay. If you were to choose a California Sauvignon Blanc, think a little bit rounder notes in your mouth, not as zesty and zippy stone fruits like peaches. Okay. So you have to decide. Okay. You each have your paddle. Okay. What okay. is it gonna be? I'll say New Zealand. I'll, I'm gonna say New Zealand as well. You're both right. <gasps> yes. You're both right. Cheers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I wanna show you one, okay, what it perfect. is. So this is the crossings. This has been one of my favorite uh, Saab Blancs for a very long time, and this bottle is only like 10 or 12 bucks. So All right, I love it New even Zealand, more. New Zealand, Marlboro, beautiful, beautiful Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, okay zip, Up zip next, I like it. Okay. I'm gonna pour you. So we're gonna dip these. Yeah, we'll these. dump these. Here, let me give you a little You can red. use a, the you. red wine glass if you there. want. Okay, and oh. we'll do the red for the red, right? This one's red? Well, okay. the bigger glass, the it bigger. doesn't matter. We'll okay. do the, the big girl for you the know. red, there we go. Thank you, delicious, so we're beautiful color. choosing between a Chilean Cabernet Sauvignon okay, or a California uh, Cabernet. And okay. there are okay. slight differences. So Chile, think lots of layers of flavor. You've got a lot going on in Chile. It's one wine region I highly recommend you visit. You've got the beautiful Andes in the background, snow-capped mountains. You've got a lot of um, coastal influences with okay. the ocean and a lot of earthy notes. So Chilean cabs are going to be the dark fruits, yes, spice, you might okay. get a little tobacco. Lots of layers of flavor. Interesting. Napa Cabernets, domestic Cabernets for the most part, okay. price points can change this a little bit, are going to be a little more fruit forward. Uh, you'll get some layers of flavor, but again, the price point is the big determiner. So in general, wines in that $25, $30 and less range, more layers Okay. And your Chilean one. Okay. I'm gonna go with the Chilean. I, okay, that's against my better judgment. I'm gonna say Napa. Okay. It's Chilean. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it, there was a tiny bit of spice. I said, is that enough spice to really call well, it Chilean? And, and, you know, spice to different people is different things. Some people right. get black pepper. Some people get baking spices. But there's sometimes an element you may not even, you know, can really discern. But this is the Gran Reserva. This is a Concha y Toro wine. 
I'm a big fan of Conchi Tour. It's a wonderful producer in Chile, and this is just a delightful wine. The Napa counterpart on that, I dare to think what you would pay for that. Right. How so, much is this one? This one is less than 20 bucks. I, I, yes. I want to say this is Delicious. in that $15 Delicious. range. It is... This is good. Just it's a good one. Give me a straw on a Friday night and we're good. <laughs> Perfect. Baby Friday. Okay, grab your white glass. Okay, here we go. This one's back to the whites. This one's okay. out. Rinse so out. we're going to talk okay. Chardonnay. Of course, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. you I love Chardonnay. I think this is my it. favorite white is a Chardonnay. I think it's, this is my favorite it's game. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> so California shards think bright fruit, and California has a different, a lot of styles of Chardonnay. Some right. of them are big and bold and buttery. Uh, you get lots of oak notes. Some are a little um, zippier. Burgundian is known for some toasty notes. They don't have a lot of butter in the Burgundian shards, a lot of bright acidity. So what do y'all okay. think? Okay, I'm gonna go Burgundian because I think this is going to be a French one. I think I know a California. I'll do. I'll also say French because I don't taste a lot of butteriness. Yeah. Okay. I was hoping you both would choose French okay. because it's not. And the Go reason thin. I think that is so important is because this wine for Chardonnay fans is amazing. It's like twelve dollars a bottle. Oh, has wow. okay. Has yeah. select and it is bright. It is zippy. It reminded me of some Burgundian shards I've had. Okay, and, and if, I was blown away by the value of this wine. And Gorgeous. the Hess Family Select, that is a pricey bottle of wine right there, right, Tangie? No. This no? is like twelve dollars. But the but the alternative oh, yeah, the is, is the oh. pricey, the Burgundy oh, version. You're gonna we weren't good at that one. No high five for us. How many of these have I these, had? These you get okay, a spank or you get a rock. One, we're gonna do <laughs> we'll see if they're still standing <laughs> okay. by the time we determine okay. what I think it will be good. Rinse okay. it out. Rinsing we're trying to be right, we're trying to make you don't sure have, get the fight to the finish here. Okay, okay, Tangie, what's oh. this last one? <laughs> okay, over here, the over here, the splash zone, okay. And I, we've alternated between red and white. Oh, just a gorgeous color. So, Pinot Noirs, Pinot Noirs, yeah. some wonderful regions. Of course, French Pinot's well-known, the king probably of Pinot's. However, California has some great ones too. Okay. Russian River Valley comes to mind. So, in California, in general, the Pinot's are a little more fruit Forward. By that I mean you really get a lot of the fruit on the front. You're okay. going to get some layers of flavor as well in the well-made ones. Oregon, um, Oregonian, <laughs> Willamette Valley uh, Pinot Noirs are more delicate. You're going to get Ooh, like a, a little more acidity. You're going to get mushrooms. You're going to get earth notes. It's They're very food-friendly wines, as are most Pinots, but Oregonian wines are just a little bit Lighter. That's it's how this very feels. Light. This feels very light, and uh, yes, all those things you said. Organ. I, I think don't know. Like. See, I I taste more of a dark cherry than I do a bright cherry in this. So I would also guess California okay. on this. California. Is and it? you know, it's really interesting about just wine kidding. Tasting. This is delicious. Often it's your. <laughs> they're both very good. <laughs> very. Often your first impression is right. It's really weird. I've done a lot of wine tastings for rodeos and different things. And usually the first impression is right. Yeah, that works with dating as well. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> you good, know, good point. Right. Good he point. was a jerk to begin with. You're right. He's still a jerk. So this is Sadler's Whale. Well. You'll see this in my series coming up. I thought it was just a wonderful uh, Pinot Noir. Beautiful. H-E-B as always. Hey, and a big shout out to my friends at Montrose Market H-E-B who helped me put together the These wine. are nice. great. You fooled, you fooled my palate a couple times, but yeah. it was very satisfied every and single time. Of course, so Republic you. Grill. Cool are we in the mood for fall or what? Thank you for reminding me. I got to take my mom there as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, cool. Yes. Come. Good stuff. And this was great, Tangi. A great reminder that you can find a great bottle of wine at a low price. Tangi's Wine Finds. Yes. Watch it on the show again. One of the most popular segments. That is segments. our goal. And follow us on Instagram at Good Taste TV because we always put them on Instagram as well. So if you forget what they may have looked like on the screen... You can go back and find out what they were. There you go. And it's all fun uh, this weekend on KPRC, too, because it's in a new time slot tomorrow. You can start your morning off with Chris Shepard, eat like a local at 10 a.m., and then you watch the new season of Good Taste with Tangie. That's at 1030. So we are excited about that. And by the way, you can catch that episode again uh, Sunday at 530 a.m. As always, as Tangie mentioned, mm -hmm. you can follow her on Instagram to keep up. Tangie Patton, congrats. Thank you. Great thank to you. see you. Congrats and thank you. Cheers. Yes, salute to you. Happy birthday. Hey, Celebrate thanks. all week. I feel great. <laughs>